Oh, no, no more cheese puffs, cocoa nuts, or gummy bites. Coffee? If I have one more sip, I will slip my wrists. Is that a no? Where the hell is your doctor? He was supposed to be here ages ago. I'm sure if he had anything important to tell us, he would have been here. So this is a big waste of time. Let's go somewhere, have a nice cocktail, and some real food. What they serve in the cafeteria does not qualify as real food. Who's talking about the cafeteria? Maybe it's in the metro court. Oh, fine. You don't want to have dinner with me. That's swell. But I have got to get out of this box. I can't breathe. I am not going to let you chicken out. Not after you finally agreed to face your diagnosis. And especially not after I have invested all of this time and ingested all of that junk. Nice. Make it all about you. It is all about me. I am losing ground in the race for my father's company because of you. AJ is definitely manipulating my freak of a nephew and his daughter to vote with him while I'm here. Great. Then go. Make sure everything's copacetic in ELQ land. What? And take my frail, weak body out of the hospital? Oh, sweetheart, there ain't nothing frail and weak about you. Not according to Lulu and Alexis. Don't forget that I lied for you so that you wouldn't have to admit you pickled your liver. Hey! You owe me! And you're gonna pay me back by sitting the hell down and waiting to hear your diagnosis from your doctor, no matter how dire it is. Oh, look who's here. Cheesy puff? No, thank you. My apologies for being delayed. I was with a patient. Really? And you couldn't have sent someone to inform us of that? Well, Mr. Spencer was in no hurry to come back for his diagnosis. I didn't think there was any urgency. Really? Are you getting a sense of urgency now? Because he's here. So you should start talking. Yeah, and start by telling her that my liver is humming like a finely tuned Maserati. As a matter of fact, it is. What? What? Mr. Spencer, there is nothing wrong with your liver. I knew it! You did not! You were wrong. I have the liver of a Mormon. Hannibal Lecter would wrap it in bacon and eat it with fava That's beans. That's repulsive. You gotta stop with this drinking too much thing because the jury has spoken. Thank you, doctor, for the wonderful news, albeit not surprising. Not surprising? He passed out. You fell like a ton of bricks. We came in here, we were told his Billy Rubin was high, and a whole bunch of other unpronounceable markers, all indicating liver disease. Woman, stop. Don't you want the doctor to be right? No, I want him to explain the test results, don't you? Not particularly. The counts are above the normal range, but not enough to concern me. Well, there you have it. Let's go celebrate. Hold on. I said there's nothing wrong with your liver. What does that mean? Is there something else wrong? Unfortunately, yes. So if it isn't my liver, what is it? Well, I ran a special panel of tests. And they indicate a very high and dangerous level of a toxic substance. In me? That's what caused you to lose consciousness. Does this toxic substance have a name? We don't know yet exactly what it is that's destroying your body, Mr. Spencer. Wait, 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 wait. Destroying? How serious is this? Very. Well, but you can you can treat it. I mean, you you can stop whatever it is that's destroying. Oh, well, we hope we can. But first, we need to identify it. Is there anything else you can tell us? Whatever's at work in your body right now did not occur naturally. What, is that, uh, what does that mean? It was somehow introduced into your system. What are you doing? Availing myself of nectar of the gods by way of a reputable Irish distillery. Join me. You think that's a good idea to further pickle your innards? You heard the doctor. I have the liver of an eight-year-old. He didn't say that. And the rest of you is ready for last rites. Do you really think the best way to find a toxic substance in your body is to ingest another toxic substance? Bottoms up. Hi. Lachayam. 
Why is it always one step forward, three steps back with you? I have a better question. Why are you such a downer? We should be celebrating. Celebrating? You collapse on my floor. I rush you to the hospital. The doctor tells you you have been exposed to a toxic substance. What's to celebrate? May I remind you that this is not my first ride on the toxic rodeo? Oh, that is comforting. You've been poisoned before. A lot of things were supposed to kill me, and they didn't. Because you didn't stand around getting snockered. May I remind you that whatever it is that's taking root in my gut is yet to be identified. It doesn't make it any less real or dangerous. Lacking any kind of diagnosis or treatment, I plan to enjoy myself until the doctors figure out just how they're going to flush my system. I don't think that's going to be very easy. Um, delivery for Luke Spencer? Spanky, you shouldn't have. I didn't. Who did? Uh, they don't tell us. Get well soon? I told you not to tell anybody about this. Really, Luke? I didn't tell anybody. Well, somebody found out. Well, there's probably a card in here somewhere. Yes? Um, it's, uh, it's customary that, uh, you leave a tip. You want a tip? Yeah. Never rub another man's rhubarb. Uh, unless, of course, you're planning to make cobbler. There's no card. Card? Play me. Who would send me a DVD? Why did Franco send it? Why focus on my... Why would Franco send me a DVD? Well, this was the scene of his coming out party, and from what I hear, videos were part of the fun. Well, yeah, but how would he know that I should get well soon? He is a master of mind games. He exploits people's weaknesses. I met the man once for about 10 minutes. He doesn't know me. Who else would go to all the trouble? Besides, haven't you already killed all your other t tormentors? Hello, Luke. Miss me? How I wish I could be there to see your face. Witness your reaction. Your surprise is going to turn to anger. Oh, the kind that comes with being thwarted, bested. But underneath, there's still a flicker of admiration, isn't there? Of longing for me, for the challenge that I represent. Oh, admit it, Luke. No, I define you. <laughs> You need me. What the hell? I thought you said you killed her. I did. She doesn't look dead to me. If you're watching this, then I'm dead. You or your bovine ex-wife... Bovine? Oh, ...have dispatched Lord. me. No, I've always known that one of us would die by the other's hand. So, it would appear that you have finally won. Damn straight, a fossil. You have spent the past few weeks in a state of euphoric self-congratulation. Until suddenly you started feeling a little off. Perhaps it began with fatigue or a few aches and pains, but nothing you couldn't explain away. And then, then the queasiness set in. Are oh, you a lightheaded, dizzy, not yourself? It finally got so bad that you sought medical help, despite your aversion to doctors. By now, you... you should have received a preliminary diagnosis. There is... a toxin... wreaking havoc in your body, and no one knows how it got there. Allow me to enlighten you. I... I... Put it there. Do I have your attention? I realize that this is... This is a lot to absorb, so please, by all means, hit the pause button. It's all right. I'll wait. She's bluffing. She was dead long before she had a chance to do <laughs> anything to me. Knowing that you... You might get the better of me, I designed a backup plan. You see... You 
We're never going to survive our encounter on the haunted star. Oh, you at best picked up a little extra time. But your demise has always been beyond doubt. Thanks. To this. What is that? It's my hearing. I'm sorry. It's remarkable. Don't you agree? That that something so so insignificant, so tacky, could be so deadly. Your earring? On its own, it's merely a, well, a vulgar affectation. But when laced with a toxin, it becomes the cause of your ruin. All I needed was one quiet moment to make the exchange while you were mercifully unconscious my men replaced your earring with the one you're wearing and voila oh the dose wasn't strong enough to kill you where you stood but it will and soon death delayed is death all the same you may have killed me luke but i killed you too a twisted bitch. <laughs> Go ahead. Curse me. Curse me all you want. You can't hurt me now. <laughs> no, you should be thanking me. I, I could have remained silent, and you would have spent your last days ignorant of the cause of your decline, never knowing that the knife between your ribs was mine. Oh, but listen to me. I sound so vicious. And there was... So much more to our relationship than just base hatred. You miss me, Luke. I know you do. Hellhound. Oh. <laughs> I thought so. And for that reason, I can afford to be generous. No, 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 listen. There is a chance, Luke. You have a chance. It's a slim chance but a chance nonetheless to reverse the process and save yourself from that poison that is marinating your insides. Now, the question is, are you smart enough to figure it out? <laughs> Consider this my final challenge and my final gift, all rolled into one. There is a way to save your life, but you won't find it at General Hospital. Oh, Luke. Luke, is there wit enough remaining in that booze-addled brain of yours to discover your salvation? I hope so, for your sake. Otherwise, my darling, I'll see you soon.